Good morning. Thank you. After 17 and a half months, I can't tell you how really, really glad I am to see you all here. And I think I speak for all of the staff. We are so glad that we can be in person with our students. It's, my name is Rick Vogel. I'm the Dean of Student Services. And uh, it is my pleasure to provide you with a brief overview of student services. And I will also share three actions that you can take to succeed at Pitt Greensburg. After my comments, our staff will present information about their department and the campus. Can everybody hear me okay with the mask on? Good. Good. We are located in 219 Chambers Hall, and basically most of the student services offices are in that hallway. We provide support for all aspects of your co-curricular -co life from today at SOAR, or not SOAR, <laughs> <laughs> from today <laughs> until graduation. We do this in three ways, collaboration with academic affairs, student development programs, and through service. We collaborate with academic affairs to provide programs through our academic villages and our academic learning communities. These communities serve to link your in and out of class learning experiences. Second, we provide programs that enhance a student's personal development. These programs include Beacon, Commuter Mentors, Cornerstone, and our signature program, GEM. These programs can help you meet other students, develop new skills, and become familiar with campus resources. We also provide services to meet your needs. These include career, counseling, and health services. These services provide you valuable opportunities for personal growth and are more important now than ever before. I would now like to ask you to consider taking three actions during your time at Pitt Greensburg to help you succeed. First, create a connection between yourself and at least one faculty or staff member each year. Find ways to work with them and bring people into your life that can guide you in a positive way. These faculty and staff members can serve as mentors both during and after your college career. Second, create a connection between yourself and each other. I ask that you join the majority of current students who commit themselves to at least one campus activity or leadership opportunity. This will help you manage your time and meet students that share your interests. Use your first year to create a connection between yourself, your peers, and the campus's programs. Finally, create an intentional connection between your classes, your other class experiences, and your career plans. Doing so will enhance your education and make yourself more marketable to both employers and possibly grad schools. If one of the secrets to success is being prepared when opportunity comes, then I believe these three steps combined with focused work in the classroom will ensure your success. The programs you will learn about today are provided by experienced and caring staff. You are in charge of your education. Be tenacious about investing in yourself. I urge you to take advantage of the programs that you will learn about today as they will help you achieve your goals and fulfill your promise. Now, I am sure many of you have questions about our programs and services. Several staff have developed a Kahoot game to answer some of these questions. I hope you will enjoy the product of their work. It's now my pleasure to introduce our host, the Director of Student Involvement, Al Teal.
Hey folks, some of you may know me from last night as DJ Al, but now you get game show Al. Different person. So, we're going to do a Kahoot game. Um, I'm sure many of you have done Kahoot, played Kahoots in the past. They're going to work very similar. But, before I bring this up on the screen, when you put your name in, put your actual name in, if Smarty Pants 73 c wins something, I ain't giving you anything. All right? I just won't, because I don't know who you are. So we do have t-shirts and whatnot. Oh, wake up, computer. We do have t-shirts and whatnot. If we give you the wrong size, I got a bunch of these in my office. Just come find me. I'm in 219 Chambers. So before I pull this up, I also want to introduce our panel today. So we have Mr. Jeremy Getter, the Director of Athletics and Recreation of All Sports. Ms. Haley Hayden, our Assistant Director of the Academic Village and Student Involvement. Dr. Sheila Confer, Director of the Academic Village and Instructor. Nina Waters, she is one of our counselors here. Dorothy Zillick, our Director of Career Services. Lauren Perry, our Study Abroad Coordinator. And then, as you've all met her several times, Ms. Lee Hoffman, our Assistant Dean of Student Services and Director of Orientation. So, and those of you still standing back, there are plenty of seats. Please come, sit, join us, it's okay. Or you can stand, whichever you're comfortable with. <laughs> All right, after each round of the Kahoot, there will be a winner. You can only win once though, except if you win the big prize in the end. So if you're the winner of round one and then keep that lead, you're gonna get something better than a t-shirt, I promise. Okay, so, if you have not yet, get out your phones right now. Go to that thing and put that PIN number in, all right? I'll give everybody a couple minutes to get themselves loaded in. This is the one time we do want you to have your phones out during any of these presentations. another minute or so. Um, as we're going through everything today, if you come up with some questions you have for us, we're going to be sticking around here at the end to answer some questions for you too. So, all right, Lee, I don't know what the room capacity of it is here, but we're going to shut this off before we reach there just for plausible deniability. Okay, there we go. Plausible deniability. Any of you who are pre-law majors will learn what that means. Super important phrase. All right, we're going to get started here with our first question. Okay, it counts down and everything. What is the name of the mascot? Is it Polly Panther, Bruiser Bobcat, Fred, or Marcel the Monkey? Our answer 
winner was Cruiser Bobcat. Cruiser Bobcat. For those of you that said Fred or Marcel the Monkey, come see me afterwards. We're going to talk about some future career plans. But with that being said, I'm going to ask Mr. Jeremy Ever, can you tell us a little bit about Pink Greensburg Athletics? Sure. Good morning, guys. Um, Pink Marcel, by the way. Raise your hand if you pick Marcel. <laughs> That's what I figured. Um, my name is Jeremy Yetter. I'm the director of athletics here. Our athletics department actually oversees three areas. Obviously athletics, but we also oversee uh, the fitness center uh, as well as intramurals. So everybody will be receiving in the next couple of weeks some information about intramurals, the startup, um, some of the activities that we'll be doing, but we will run intramurals all year long. And uh, we're open to any ideas that you may have uh, in addition to some of the standard ones that we routinely uh, participate. The Fitness Center, as many of you have seen, will open up on a week from the day, Monday, August 30th. The main reason for that is we're still waiting for some of our regular students, our older returning students to come back that have normally worked the Fitness Center um, so that we have it fully staffed. But the Fitness Center will be open seven days a week. Monday through Thursday are pretty long days, meaning we open up around 8.30, we stay open until about 10, and then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday we have uh, some abbreviated hours during those three days. Athletics, we have 13 varsity sports. Um, our teams compete in the Allegheny Mountain Collegiate Conference, which basically is Pennsylvania and New York schools. Uh, we have all the sports um, that you would normally think of. So we have men's and women's soccer in the fall time, we have volleyball, our women's tennis team actually plays in the fall as well. Both cross country teams uh, and golf. In the winter, we have men's and women's basketball and bowling. And then in the spring, we have men's tennis, baseball, and softball. Uh, some of our teams, we're always still looking for folks that are interested in joining the team. If you are, my advice to you is to go to our athletics website, uh, find the staff directory, and then just send a direct email right to the coach and let him or her know that you have an interest uh, in participating in that sport. Uh, I encourage all of you, as Dean Fogel said, to get involved. Um, there's a lot of different things you can get involved with. If you're not interested in playing on one of the athletic teams, I would encourage you to come to the games. You know, we have this year with a regular year, everybody back in person here, uh, well, I know we'll have a great atmosphere with folks coming to the games here. And our place is usually one of the tougher places to play in the league. And that is a big reason of you guys, plus all the returning students, coming back and making it a very challenging t place to play. So I look forward to seeing all of you this year and uh, welcome to campus. All right, thanks, Jeremy. So I forgot, where's Brian at? Brian, where you at? All right, Brian, you get a free t shirt. I'm proud of you. Good job. All right, next question. What is Cat Cash? Is it a bookstore credit? Credit on your ID used for color printing? A declining balance on your ID for use at the dining facilities? Or a fun word for financial aid? soon. That's with the Subway, uh, Grill Nation, um, like a pizza and pasta place. But then there's also the Coffee House. So the Coffee House is in Village Hall. It is a Starbucks coffee house. It is delicious coffee. They have all the seasonal drinks. So those pumpkin spice latte fans out there, I see you. I see me. 
Those will be available soon, along with all the holiday drinks. They also have sandwiches at night, um, sandwiches during the day, pizzas, all that stuff. So if you have signed up for a meal plan and you realize, you know what, I need to change this, you have until the end of the first couple weeks to get that meal plan changed. You come up with student services to do that, or you can still sign up for a meal plan. The nice part about signing up for a meal plan for those commuters in the room is they'll get added to your fall bill, so you can use any financial aid towards that. To add cat cash to your account, you can do that through the Dining Services website, or you can go see Ms. Connie Lehman in 210 Chambers Hall and get signed up. You get a 10% bonus for every $100 you put on your card. Um, well, 10% bonus on any money you put on your card. So if you put $50 on, you'll get five extra. It's a really good thing. And for those commuters in the room who say, you know what, I'm going to pack my lunch every day. You're going to do that for like three days and then decide, I don't want to pack my lunch. And shout outs to Richard over there. We're talking about dining services. He's our director of dining. Wonderful human being. He will take care of you if you've got any dining needs, anything you need accommodated, you can come and see him. So. And I just want to add, okay, so he desperately needs students and employees, okay? So if anybody's interested, I have a big table set up out in front of the dining hall. Okay, I have um, you know, three hour shifts, four hour shifts. A lot of students love to work at the coffee house. I need help with the bottle cap, I need help in the dining hall. Mostly cashier spots and barista spots, okay? So if anybody's interested, please, okay, please look me up. Okay, it's all online, you just have to put your phone up to the QR code, and it'll take you right to the website, and you can apply. All right. Thank you. All right, we're going to keep going then. Next question. What does it mean if you completed Pride? That means you have school spirit? You enrolled in a cornerstone? You completed the Emerging Leaders Program? Or you had an alcohol value? What does it mean if you completed the program? All right, we're getting towards the end. We're getting, based on the giggles in the room, I'm pretty sure all of you missed this because it means you had an alcohol violation. So Lee, let's tell them about pride. Raise your hand if you said you had an alcohol Raise your hand if you pick number four. Nobody wants to admit it. Yes, it is if you've had an alcohol violation. PRIDE stands for Personal Responsibility Initiated Through Drug and Alcohol Education. If you have to attend PRIDE, it's because you've had an alcohol or drug violation. So hopefully none of you will attend PRIDE. Um, we do have the, the alcohol policy and the drug policy in place to make sure we have a safe environment here on campus. Um, most of you are probably under the age of 21, so you should not be consuming alcohol. If you are caught with an alcohol violation, um, in addition to a, a having the sanctions of pride, your uh, parents or legal guardians will be notified. Um, and if you have more than one, you are facing suspension, which we don't want any of you to face. So that's why we're letting you know now, so you know what the policies are. You are responsible for knowing what's in the student code of conduct, all the policies that are in the code of conduct, as well as the student handbook. That is online, you can find it on our website, so please be sure you're familiar. If you're not sure if you can have a samurai sword in your room, look it up in the student handbook. The answer is no. You're not allowed to have that in your room, okay? So make sure you know the policies about that. Um, also, I wanted to let you know that um, you should have all received an email to your PIT email account asking you to complete the EverFi online courses. Some of you have already completed it. Good job, you're ahead of the game. If you have not, make sure you check your PIT email because you are supposed to complete those courses by the start of classes, which is on Friday. If you do not complete those online courses, a hold goes on your account. You will not be able to register for your classes in the spring. So please complete those. It, it does take a little bit of time, hour, an hour and a half to complete those courses. So please make sure you get on the three courses total that you have to complete. It came to your Pitt email. It comes from the University of Pittsburgh. Okay, so look for that. You probably got a reminder this morning, because a reminder goes out every Monday morning, if you have not completed the courses. Okay? Again, if you completed them, great. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Lee. And Salih, Sela? Sela. Sela, you're up there. We'll get you a prize. Thank you. 
Well, that's perfectly good her shirt. Look, if I skip you, you just gotta yell at me because I'm I'm just that way. Who gets a shirt? Who wants a shirt? Come see me afterwards. All right. Next question. How do you find out the name of your academic advisor? Do you email the registrar? Do you check your junk folder in the bid email? Do you ask your peer leader? Or do you check your bid portal? Thanks, Dr. Comfort. You're welcome, Al. Next question. When is the earliest you can study abroad? Is it when you reach junior level? As soon as a family wants you out of the house? <laughs> right after your first year on campus? Or once you have completed 45 credits? And if you do go on study abroad to Italy and go to Pisa, this is a required picture to take. All right. The answer is the summer after your first year on campus. Who do we got in the lead now? All right, Gretchen, you're up in the lead again, but you already got one prize. So where are you at? Hannah, did you get a prize? Hannah, Hannah gets a prize. We'll give Hannah a prize. All right, and then, Lauren, can you tell us a little more about study abroad? Um, and a clear disciplinary record. 
That being said, if you have something like a noise violation or something like that on your record, it doesn't immediately count you out, so please don't be dissuaded from applying. Um, just come and have a conversation with me first and we can get you started. Thanks, Lauren. All right, next question. What does SAB stand for? Is it Student Against Biology? The Senior Academic Board? Student's Academic Booklet? Or the Student Activities Board? And for those of you that came to the game show last night, we said it many times, I hope you were paying attention. Uh, all right, it is the Student Activities Board. So in the lead now is Hannah N. Hannah, where are you at? Hannah, Hannah's right over there. All right, shout outs. Good job, Hannah. All right, and Haley, can you tell us a little bit more about SAB? Um, so like I said earlier, my name's Haley Hayden, and I'm the um, Assistant Director for Student Involvement in Academic Village. But one of my job duties is also the, being one of the advisors for the Student Activities Board. So how many of you came to bingo last night? Okay, good many of you. Did you guys have a good time? Okay, so the Student Activities Board is one of the biggest clubs on campus and we put on all the events, um, or most of the events that happen um, throughout the school year. So things like homecoming, um, bingos, all kinds of stuff. Trivia nights. Um, at these events, we always have food and who loves free things? <laughs> free prizes, okay, awesome. So we give out water bottles, shirts, anything that you can think of. Um, and it's a really great way to meet people on campus and get yourself acclimated to campus as well. Um, so you are free to join the activities board if you would like. Um, and also to find any activities, um, I send out a lot of emails. Haley Hayden, it's a really easy name to remember. I sound like a gangster host. I will send out emails pretty much weekly, as well as you can utilize Engage, which we will learn more about in your first year seminars, as well as there's calendars all throughout campus. Um, if there's something that you are really interested in and want to see on campus, please come and stop um, by my office, which is in Village Hall, because um, we want to make sure that we provide you with the best experience. And that's that. <laughs> All right, thanks, Haley. And this is an incredibly tight game. I did not notice that. It is a one-point difference. One point. It is anyone's game. We're about halfway through. Next question. Where can you find your class syllabus? What's a syllabus? <laughs> campus? Ask Lee for it, or at the campus store. shows up in a different place. Every professor is going to be a little bit different. 
Some professors might actually hand you a syllabus on the first day of class, a paper syllabus. Yikes. Um, hold on to that. <laughs> Um, a lot of times, um, if you're asking a question about the course, the answer is probably in the syllabus. So always check your syllabus first, um, but if you can't find the answer, then by all means do ask. And I did mention uh, office hours. Um, every professor on campus has scheduled office hours. That means there are hours during the week when you can definitely find them in their office. That does not mean that they're in their office working and they don't want to see you. The reason they're there is so you can find them and ask questions and get help. So please make use of professor's office hours. And if you are not provided with a syllabus on your first day of class, ask the professor to provide you with a syllabus. And if by the second week of class you still do not have a syllabus, then talk to somebody, one of us, or you know, your advisor, and let them know, because we need to know um, if that's happened. So, and that's a syllabus. It's, it's very absolutely, important. Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Conklin. Next question. Who is required to fill out your health form? Is it the student and their doctor? Is it Dr. Who? Is it the student and the guardian? or pick Greensburg nurse and student's guardian. Spoiler alert, you should have already done this since you're here, but just in case. All right, it is the student and their guardian. So who is in the lead now? All right, where's Abigail? Abigail. All right, Abigail, you're up there. But Amara, you're still in the lead. Did I pronounce it right? Yes, two in a row. That's a big, that's a big time for me. But Nina, can you tell us a little more about the health center? I sure can, Al. So um, students and or guardians can fill out the health form, but the student has to sign it. Health form is mandatory. It has to be returned before the semester starts. You should have received a copy in your admission packet. There's also a link on the Pitt Greensburg website, either on Health Center page or admissions form page. Um, if it's not turned in, you won't be allowed to register for the spring, spring semester classes. Uh, registration starts mid-fall. There will be a hold placed on your account, so um, and classes may fill up. So um, information about the Health Center, uh, Nurse Pam, provides treatment and first aid over the, oh, okay. So um, if, you, if you're sick, if you don't feel well, if you have a headache, um, go see Nurse Pam, she's great, everybody loves her. She'll provide treatment and first aid, over the counter meds, referrals to off campus providers, regular consults with the campus physician, a supportive listening ear. She also has lots of great snacks. Um, mm -hmm. uh, there's also a campus physician, his name is Dr. Levine, he's here Thursday mornings, I believe, for student appointments. The, um, there's also a self-care center in the front of Nurse Pam's office. That's open before and after office hours, as long as Chambers Hall is open. Um, you can find first aid supplies for headaches, colds, and cuts. Um, parents will meet Nurse Pam. No, they've already met her. Okay, that sort. Sorry about that. So that's it. Any questions? Where to drop Thank off the form? Where to drop off the medical form? 219 Chambers Hall. Thanks, Nina. You're also, if you're ever looking for Dean Fogel and you can't find him at his Office of Student Services, you can usually find him with Nurse Pam. They like to hang out. No, it's a good thing. Next question. How many students complete internships or gain experience in their major prior to graduation? Is it only 3%? Is it 67%? Is it 85%? Or is it the impossible number of 112%? <laughs> Dr. Conklin, do you have a question? All right. It is about 85%. So, in the lead now, 
no change at the top. But Natalie, where are you at, Natalie? All right, Natalie, we'll get you a shirt here. And while we're doing that, Dorothy, can you tell us a little more about internships? Yes, absolutely. So, um, so students gain experience in a wide variety of ways depending on their major. So some will do study abroad, for instance. Some um, do clinical shadowing. Some do volunteer work. Um, internships, part-time jobs. So there's different ways to do that. So we'd love to talk to you about it and kind of help you to figure out your plan. And right now, there's tons of time, but please don't wait till your senior year. That's all I bet you. Um, so for your services, we work with students on everything from choosing a major. How many of you are undecided? Some of you? Okay, hope to see you soon. Um, uh, those that are trying to gain experience in their major, job and internship search, and graduate school planning. There are two and a half of us, so there's two full-time staff and, and one part-time staff in our office. We're located up in 219 Chambers, and we hold a wide variety of events and programs throughout the year. Um, we don't give away a ton of free stuff, but free food, so definitely worth coming. Um, and we'd love to, to talk to you a little bit more, so please stop in and visit us, and we look forward to seeing you. Thanks, Dorothy. All right, next question. How much is a parking pass? Is it $75? Do you get one for free? Is it $100? Or is it 25 bucks? Thanks, Lee. And for those incoming students who do live on campus, the upperclassmen will turn you in if they find your car parked somewhere they couldn't park <laughs> if they're a commuter. And they will tell me, and I will find you. All right. Next question. What does GEM stand for? Is it getting easy money? Is it Greensburg experience more? Greensburg excellent meals. Or Greenberg enrichment members. What is Gem? Other than one of our signature programs, as you heard from Dean Fogel a little bit ago. Yeah, so 
So GEM, a Green, or Greensburg Experience Award, is a program specific to our campus. Um, it's comprised of five different categories, and it's to help you build up your co-curricular transcript. Now I know this is your first day on campus, and you're not thinking about jobs or internships quite yet, but building a co-curricular transcript is really great. It shows that you are able to um, you know, do your regular studies, but also make sure that you are involved on campus and getting more knowledge and experiences and making um, connections throughout the community. We'll talk about this more in first year seminar, but it takes about two and a half to three years to complete. And once you complete it, you get a medallion where at graduation, you get your name on a plaque. Um, so it's something really great to put on your resume and your transcript overall. Thanks, Haley. Next question. Where can you find out if a class has been canceled? Is it your pit email? Is it a canceled class list? Or is it a candidate notification? Or could it be all of them? Did we try to trick you? We didn't try to trick you. It is all of the above. So, in the lead now, all right, nothing changed, but Colby, we've made it down to you. Where you at, Colby? All right, Colby, you're right up there. We'll get you a prize. So, cancel class list and cancel classes. Um, you can't find it in all those spaces. Uh, checking your email, checking Canvas. Um, checking the cancel class list is right on the bottom of the homepage. Click on that. Um, one of the biggest pieces of advice I can give to you when it comes to cancel classes and comes to really being a student general is Check your PIT email. That should be one of the first things you do every morning, especially for any commuters in the room. If you're driving in 35 minutes to a class and you arrive and you see that note on the door saying class is canceled because you didn't check your email, you are not gonna be happy. So, check your email for the canceled class list. There may be times in your syllabus where a professor may have a scheduled canceled class. Maybe you're gonna be working on projects that week. They expect you to be meeting with your group that week. Check all of these things. If there is ever a weather emergency and campus is closed, this is incredibly rare. You would get a text message on our ENS emergency, emergency notification system. Make sure you sign up for the emergency notification through the PIT portal. Um, we use that for truly emergency, weather emergencies, if there would be a safety emergency on campus. We don't use that for general anything else. So sign up for the ENS notifications, cancel class lists, Make sure you're checking your emails for those things. And not just cancel classes, but for stuff like bills, stuff like the health forms, stuff like the EverFi course for all those things. Make sure you're checking those forms of communication. It's just going to make your life a lot easier. All right, next question. Who is allowed to use the counseling center without paying a fee? Is it all Pink Greensburg students? Just the folks who played this game. Just residents or only full-time students. seems small or embarrassing. Um, I want the Counseling Center to be known as a safe place to come for help sorting things out where you can get an objective perspective from a caring expert. Counseling services are available to students. It's individual personal counseling one-on-one. -on -one. We also see students with partners or parents. 
Um, we also offer workshops throughout the year and groups on stress management and test anxiety. Students come to the Counseling Center for a lot of normal reasons. Um, trouble adjusting to stressful changes like starting college, um, living with people for the first time that you don't know, relationship problems, dating, roommate, family, um, stress management, test anxiety, grief and loss, eating problems, and of course depression, anxiety, and um, panic attacks. Those are a lot more common than you think. Um, we don't tell you what to do. You know, counseling, you don't come in and we, we don't tell you, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that. Um, we like to ask you questions and kind of help you sort things out on your own. Um, we will make suggestions, but that's you know, about it. We identify the problems and plan the solutions together. So again, it's a, if it's big enough to bother you, it's big enough to bring to the counseling center. Don't wait until a problem becomes a crisis to come. It's actually pretty smart to resolve a problem before it gets big enough to affect your grades. And remember, it's probably the only time in your life that counseling will be completely free. So go ahead and take advantage of it. Um, and like I said, it's 100% confidential. So nobody has to know that you're there. All right, thank you. Thanks, Nina. And yes, please do that, take advantage of that. Nina's wonderful. Uh, Gail was wonderful. You're going to meet Gail this afternoon in your afternoon sessions, and those were going to be in the chapel. So just remind you, your afternoon sessions are in the chapel today. All right, next question. We've got two more. Let's see if Abigail can keep her lead. All right, in what country have Pitt Greensburg students not yet studied abroad? Is it Ireland, Sweden, China, or Egypt?
um, where you would live with a family in country. And so something like that might look a little different. We can't do programs in New Zealand currently because obviously they have closed their borders. And so yes, it's going to look different, but there are still plenty of opportunities around the world and lots within the US. So please consider it. Awesome, thanks Lauren. All right, so we're going to go to our last question of the thing, of this game show. So afterwards, we're going to be sticking around answering questions for you. So we're going to kind of have you raise your hand or come up like that. Yeah, raise your hand. We'll come up. You can ask your questions to us. And then we'll be done after we dismiss you all. Remember, this afternoon, your session is in the chapel. Do not come back here. I know this game show was awesome. I know I'm awesome. But you don't want to see it twice. So, our last question for the day. What job have I never had? Have I never been a manager of a blockbuster video? Have I never been a ride operator at Cedar Point? Have I never been a bagpipe band director? Or have I never been an interim athletic director?
<laughs> oh, the backpack band. So my job prior to this, I worked at a school called Iona College. So it was the Iona, Iona College Pipe Band. And it was one of the best college pipe bands in the world. We actually won, the two years I was the director, best college or high school pipe band in the New York City St. Patrick's Day Parade, which uh, outside of Dublin is the largest St. Patrick's Day Parade in the world. And we got a big trophy for it. It was wonderful. to do that. And if you ever have any concerns relating to that, those kind of issues or other things, come and see us. Come and talk to us. We, we are here to support and help you through these things. Um, Nina talked about the counseling services and health services, but we're here to help you kind of, we want you to 
Do your best as students. That's why we're here. That's why we have our jobs. That's why we love what we do. Um, so please come and see us. Come talk to us about these things. There is usually a solution to any problem you may have. Um, we will help you find it. So please don't hesitate to come see us up in 219 Chambers. Um, Lyndon and Loretta are the two administrative assistants. A lot of you have met them, getting your ID pictures. They are wonderful, wonderful resources too, who can help you with so many things. So please, always come and see us. That's what we're here for. Any other questions? If you have any other questions and you would just like to come up and ask one of us individually, we'll all stay here um, until you're gone. So if you have any questions, feel free just to come up and ask. Otherwise, please remember, hold on, I got a reminder. Lunch is available um, starting at 11.30. It is available even if you don't have a meal plan, you're a commuter, you don't have a meal plan, Just you just mark yourself down in there and our, we will pay for it, the university will pay for it. So go ahead and do that. Your next session starts at one o'clock in the chapel, okay?